In this video, we're going to look at connecting to an API using page number pagination in Airtable. We'll start by looking at what we mean by page number pagination. So we're going to use the CoinGecko API and the Markets endpoint, which gives us a list of 100 different cryptocurrencies. So we can see we've got 100 in our list, starting from zero, which is Bitcoin. Now looking at the API documentation for this endpoint, we can see that it takes a page parameter which allows us to page through the results. And what this means is that we can add a parameter here called page. And when we set that to a different number, we'll get a different page of results. So we start at one, which is what we had before. Then if we set it to two, we'll get the next hundred coins, starting with Sia coin. And so on, we can set it to three and we'll get the next hundred coins. So this allows us to fetch all the different coins and fetch several pages of them. So we're going to see how to connect to this API in Airtable. So go to the apps dashboard and click add an app and search for data fetcher. Data fetcher is a free app that allows us to run API requests in Airtable and it handles this pagination for us automatically. So once you've installed the app, either sign up for a free data fetcher account or sign into your existing one. Then click create request and we'll call it fetch coin prices. And then we're going to input just this bit of the URL and we're going to set up the pagination separately. We'll set the output table in the output view and then click determine fields and open field mapping. Click filter all and show response, and we can see the same response that we saw in this tab. And we're going to keep the name and the current price. And click confirm. Data fetcher will create any fields for us that we need. Then in the advanced settings, click pagination and select the page option. So this is because we're using page-based pagination. And then in this input here, we need to enter the name of the page parameter, which most of the time will be page, but some APIs will use different parameter names. And then we can set the number of pages we want to fetch. So I'm going to enter four, and we're going to fetch 400 coins. So now that we've set this bit up, the pagination, we can run the request, and data fetcher is automatically going to set the page parameter here to one, two, three, then four. So if we run that now, we can see that data fetcher is running the request using page number pagination. And we're inputting or importing 400 rows of cryptocurrency prices.